In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step tutorial on how I designed this stunning and colorful birthday flyer in Adobe Photoshop. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Obed. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell icon so that you get notified anytime I drop a new video. And if you have already subscribed to thank you so much. Now let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set our canvas size, all right? And then this is what we are using. We are using eight by 10, with the eight being the rate, and then the 10 as the height. And then I'm going to give our project a name, say, Bed the Flyer, right? You can always do this later. And you are going to leave everything as it is. Now on the column, we are not going to print it out. We are going to leave it as RGB color and then click on create. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to start with the background design. All right. So head over to your folder and then drag and drop this image here. Good. And then I'm going to adjust it like this. Okay. I think this is okay for me. All right. And then we are going to do some adjustment to the background. Select the background image, all right, the layer, and then go to image, click on adjustments, and then select the hue and saturation. And then this we are going to do, change the hue from zero to a class of 10, all right. And then the saturation, increase it to 100. Okay. And then I'm going to leave the lightness as 10 percent or as 10 and then click on ok good this is how we want our image to look all right all right now let's lock the image the background image here and then go back to our folder again drag and drop this image right here all right click on this guy and i'm going to rasterize the image now i'm going to remove the background of this image right here so i'm going to select my polygonal lasso tool and then I'm going to get rid of the background like this, all right. So what I'm doing is I'm just tracing out the edges of the subject that we want. Then I'm just get rid of the background like this, press it here. And then on your keyboard, you press on the delete key. And then you right click and then you deselect, right? That basically what we are doing. All right, now that we've gotten rid of the background, I'm just going to adjust it like this, right? Click on this guy and then put it right here. Stretch it out, it's like this, all right. And then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to lighter color, which is this one. And I'm going to do some adjustment to it. Okay, so I think this is okay for me. All right, now on your keyboard, press on Control plus J to make a duplicate. And then I'm going to move it to the left side like this. I'm going to rotate it a little. Right. Let's put it right here. All right, so this is okay for me. All right, so this is what we are going to do. Select the loop duplicate, the left one, right? And then go to your eraser tool and select the eraser. And then feed the button like this. Okay. Good. Now this is what we are going to do, we are going to put all of these together and then name it as the background. So I'm going to select everything here. Drag it to the folder icon here and I'm going to name it as background, all right. Good. Now that we have that in place, the next thing I'm going to do is to bring in our subjects. It is the birthday guy, this one here. I'm going to drag it and drop it like this. Awesome. Let's right click on it and then rasterize. And then I'm going to get rid of the background. So select the image, go to select option, and then select the 
subjects. You wait for the subject to be selected automatically. We click on the layer mask here to add a layer mask and then the background is gone. All right. So I'm going to decrease the size a little bit. Okay, so I think this is spoke here for me. Now this is what we are going to do. We are going to leave the image like this and then you will come back at it later on to make some adjustment. But before then, this is what we are going to do. Grab your eraser tool, all right, and then let's smoothen the edges like this. You later come back to it, so don't worry. Just smoothen it like this. Fade it, right? Good. I think this is okay for me. And then let's go back to the folder again. Now I'm going to bring in this light effects here. I'm going to drag and drop it like that. Stretch it out. Alright. And then this is what we are going to do. We're going to change the blend mode for this light effect here from normal to lighten this one. Then I'm going to position it like this. And then this way I'm going to do, I'm going to rasterize it. Go to the eraser tool, all right. Let's increase the size a little bit. Good. And then you're going to get rid of the sparkles um, in the face like this. Okay. Good. And then this is what you're going to do. You're going to reduce the opacity from 100% to 40%. Okay, you can leave it at 50, but then 40 will work best for me as far as this video is concerned. Good. Now I'm going to lock this as well and then lock this one as well. All right. Now let's create a new layer. All right. Grab our brush tool. Now you're going to change the foreground color to a sample of this, which is black, and then click on OK. And then this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply it here like this to the lower parts, right? Okay. All right. So the next thing we are going to do right here is to go back to our folder, bring in this our last resource here. Now I am not going to link this particular resource files in this video because all the files that I am using in this particular tutorial is available in the Ultimate Graphic Design Resource Pack. So if you need these files, you need to get the automatic graphic design the source pack and then you can use it. Alright. So let's drag and drop this our last image um resource here. Click on this guy, rasterize it. And then go to the eraser tool, select the magic eraser tool and then let's get to the background like this. Then I'm going to do some adjustment to it. Alright. But won't put it right here. Click on this guy. Okay, so I think this is okay for me. Now this is what we are going to do. Go to the image tab, click on adjustments and select the hue saturation and then change the hue to a plus of four. And then the saturation, you change it to 28. And then you decrease the lightness to minus five, right? And then click on okay. Good. Now let's go ahead and then add our text. So we are going to add our first text, all right? I'm going to add our first text, but before the let's also group this, the image, and then the remaining resources that we brought in. Let's group them. Awesome. We want to keep our workflow very organized, All right? Now let's move on. So we are going to add our first text. So grab your text tool, All right? And then put your first text here, which is the happy. Awesome. Alright, now I'm going to make some adjustment to the text that we added. So go to the uh, character, alright, button here. And then change the font style to Samantha. Alright, there is a font called Samantha. Alright, now this particular font is also available in the graphic design resource pack so if you have it i mean you have everything that you need all right so i'm going to adjust it like this okay not too big but this is okay for me and i'm going to put it right 
here like this all right and we are going to make a duplicate so control plus j to duplicate and we are going to change the text to birthday good now i'm going to do some adjustments to it let's increase the size and then change the font style to there's a font here called the blacklist which is also available in the resource pack so basically this particular flyer everything that i am using is in the resource pack all right so if you have the resource pack you have everything if you don't have the resource pack and also need it i will leave the link in the description of this video and then you can also get yourself a copy all right now let's go ahead and then add continue with our text so i'm going to add the next text all right Now I'm going to make adjustments to this text also. Change the font style to Montserrat. And I'm going to decrease the size. And then space it out like this. Alright. I'm going to put it right here. Awesome. Good. Now let's continue with our text. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward the video from here and then add our remaining text. Then we continue from there. All right, now that we have all our text in place, I'm going to group them in one folder. All right, then I'm going to rename it as fonts or texts. All right, let's rename it as texts. Good. Now this is what we are going to do next. Let's go back to the image that we brought in the subjects. All right, so let's click on the image and then we are going to do some adjustments to the image. All right. Now right click on the image and then click on convert to smart objects so let's this is what we are going to do select the image and then go to the image tab here and then go to adjustments and i'm going to select the black and white here good now toggle the tint um option here like this all right and then change the color so this is the color code that we are using right here click on ok and then this is what we are going to do now we're going to make some adjustments here. Let's keep the red at 40 and change the yellow to 91. All right. And then let's see the green. Let's keep it at 20. And then the scenes. Let me keep the scene at 300. And then the blues. We are going to keep it at 20. And then keep the magenta at 20. Make sure your hue here is 42 percent, 42 degrees. And then the saturation is 20% and click on OK. Good. All right, now from here, go to filter, click on the camera raw filter option here. And then we're also going to make some basic adjustments here. All right, so first let's start with the contrast and I'm going to push the contrast forward to 17. Okay. And then the highlights, we move it to 57. This is okay for me then let's decrease the shadows all the way to minus 100 all right and then push the white to 38 all right and then let's leave the black as it is let's come to vibrance i'm going to add the vibrance 10 of it all right then the saturation keep the 13 and then i want to click on ok good all right now at this moment we are going to add our last thing and then we wrap up with everything if you find this video helpful consider subscribing turn on the notification bell icon it's for your own good and then if you have not joined my telegram channel the link is in the description below 
the resource pack everything that you need as a graphic designer is in the description of this video all right so let's wrap up and this is what we're going to do go to your ship select the rectangle tool draw a rectangular shape to cover the entire web like this right and then i'm going to change the color so this is the color code that we are using we have a six two one zero seven all right and then you click on ok good now this is what i'm going to do we are going to change the blend mode from normal to soft light so this guy here and then i'm going to reduce the opacity from 100 percent to 50 percent right and just this um trick right here that's the difference it makes everything very beautiful all right all right now if you want you can also bring the rectangle shape that we added right below the text folder so that the text folders won't be affected by the effects thank you so much for sticking around so this very end if you find this video helpful please subscribe and until i come here with another video out.